Hi everyone. March 7, 2021. I came across something interesting and I wanted to share it with you all. Do you know that the Guantanamo prisoners, the torture that the U.S. military inflicts upon them is, well, masks. Oh, and other tools of torture, of course. Masks. How interesting. How interesting. The world was shocked by the images of shackled kneeling men in orange jumpsuits wearing face masks, blacked out eye goggles, industrial air muffs, ear muffs, sorry, in order to prevent them from seeing, hearing, speaking, sensory deprivation. But the masks, wow. Prisoners' treatment is bordering on torture. Bordering? Bordering? Really? BMJ? Bordering. The U.S. National Library of Medicine. Well, Red Cross spokesman told the media that the United States had contravened the Geneva Convention by releasing photos? Is it the release of photos that was in contravention of the Geneva Conventions, or was it the torture? I hope they included the actual torture. But yes, the photos showed the men kneeling, blindfolded, wearing surgical masks. The sensory deprivation inflicted on the prisoners was bordering on torture, no, I'd say it's torture. Could cause immediate and lasting psychological symptoms akin to post-traumatic stress disorder if lasted more than 20 hours. How about a year? A year. People wearing these masks for hours and hours and hours every day. Well, Obama... Obama, you didn't close that torture facility like you said you would. You made a promise, Obama, back in 2009 that you would close the camp within one year. Seven years on, the notorious detention center remains open. Well, <laughs> mask. Uh, Obama didn't close it, and Trump... <sighs> It might have been an executive order to keep it open indefinitely. <laughs> Trump ordered the prison torture camp to be opened indefinitely. I, I'm, I'm only laughing, certainly not at the torture and what these people are subjected to. I'm just laughing at the utter idiocy, hypocrisy of the American people. Yeah, you know, when they started talking about torture, remember those hearings, Bush administration? Oh, it's not torture. It's enhanced, enhanced techniques or whatever. I was really kind of shocked. I think a lot of Americans were shocked that nobody was really expressing any shock, <laughs> outrage. No matter what happens in this country, we just go on. We just go on. Like, oh, all of the outrage about Guantanamo and Obama, I'm going to shut it down and shut it down. Oh, we just move on to the next, to the next, you know, horrendous event taking place. The next atrocity that takes place. One of those atrocities is the American people now wearing masks. Torture. So Obama didn't close it. And Trump uh, signed an executive order. You can't quote me on that, but yeah, he basically signed something to keep this open indefinitely. But don't worry because we've got Biden now who, well... He's going to close it. <laughs> yeah. 
nothing ever changes. Nothing ever changes, no matter how many times a promise is betrayed. Your Americans are just, mm. well, I'll listen to the next set of promises out of somebody else's mouth and go, yay, he's going to do it. No, he's not. Mask wearing, torture techniques. Well, nasal swab, torture technique, doesn't matter what you say. I guess those who are wearing the masks will find a justification to keep wearing them and doesn't matter, you know, that their masks are a tool of torture. Um, they'll just, well, they use it as torture for these people, but they're not using it for torture for us. No, because our military and our U.S. government love us. They love us. Study reveals COVID-19 can infect ears. So when you think about those ear masks, I mean, the well, they are essentially ear masks, the ear muffs that they also use to deprive the prisoners of any kind of sensory you know, uh, stimulation, torture technique. Study reveals COVID-19 can infect ears. And I tried and tried to find the article and it, I don't know how long ago it was, a couple of months ago, and I'm not sure what expert, was it Fauci, or was it some you know, infectious disease expert that mainstream media had invited on to speak the propaganda. They did talk about how COVID-19 can get into the ears. That's right. And the eyes. So... I did think that it was interesting. They use earmuffs for torture. Will we be soon mandated to wear earmuffs? Who the hell knows? But you know what? The Cub Scouts made ear protectors to help healthcare workers battling COVID-19. Ear protectors. Found a way to help healthcare workers who have become accustomed to the discomfort of wearing a mask all day. All right. Ear protectors. You know, people still are leaving me comments. Oh, all she does is report on what mainstream media is saying and it's all a lie and she knows it and what the hell she what I am doing is showing you this is the enemy and you need to understand where the enemy is going if you are not checking out mainstream media just to see where we're going then how do you ever fight your enemy no but we're not fighting anyway, so it doesn't matter. But coronavirus pandemic has worsened tinnitus for many sufferers. New research, and this was back in November 2020. COVID-19 is producing hearing-related symptoms, such as dizziness, vertigo, and hearing loss. It's worsened tinnitus for many individuals. Tinnitus characterized by hearing unwanted sounds such as a ringing or a buzzing in your ears without a corresponding external sound. It's one of the most frequently occurring chronic conditions. Wow. Affecting 12 to 30% of the adult population worldwide. Although tinnitus occurs in all age groups, it's more common in older adults. Numerous factors. Mm. Uh, it could be related to hearing loss, ear infections, exposure to loud noises, head injuries. Now, those people, well, I guess it's common for them to develop tinnitus. 
Funny how they never, ever, ever mention the artificial saturation of electromagnetic frequencies. Hmm. That is known to cause what, well, I guess people refer to as tinnitus. Uh, it's made worse by certain noises, poor sleep, allergies, or infections. People with tinnitus are found to be at a higher risk of lower emotional well-being, depression, anxiety, possibly because of people's frustration with their inability to escape or control. The condition tinnitus may also make it difficult to sleep and concentrate, which can affect daytime functioning. Wow, so it is a pretty serious affair. So serious that um, they even suggest that you go online. There are helplines, online support groups, cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness, um, to deal with this constant buzzing or hissing or knocking or however you hear it. I've read comments from many of you. You're experiencing it, and it's not fun. As I speak, mine's loud. Mine was very loud last night. Couldn't sleep. But is that because of the tinnitus, or could it be? Because of the other biological effects that are, are now very dangerous environment, the saturation of artificially induced electromagnetic frequencies coming from so many different sources, cell phone towers, cell phones, all the gadgets that we have, uh, antennas, Gwen towers, satellites, and etc. Stress can make it worse. Well, it's, it's not fun. But here, NBC, COVID-19 may make people's tinnitus worse. I've had a constant high-pitched buzzing in my ear for the past 20 years, but there is no doubt that this is the worst my tinnitus has ever been. That from Rebecca Edgar, 29, Southeast England. I'm deaf in one ear, and I'm so scared that catching COVID-19 could destroy what's left of my hearing. Her fear is not unfounded. Condition characterized by whooshing and ringing or buzzing and hissing noises in the ear. In the ear. No, no disclosure of what is the major, major cause. But before I get to that, remember, this video is essentially about mask, the masking of prisoners to inflict torture. Oi, 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 the more surgical masks make breathing, uh, the surgical masks make breathing more difficult, limit the sense of smell. Oh, you can read about how we just, you know, torture, okay? But they did say, it's a form of psychological torture. And I would say that it's unfortunate that a lot of Americans don't realize that they are being subjected to torture. Then think about the isolation. The you know, deprivation of social contact, how this COVID-19 has certainly had an effect on how we relate to one another. Many people are staying home. The elderly are really being tortured, isolated from their loved ones. Oh boy. And it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. You are in a place where there is no law. We are the law. 
U.S. military intelligence officers. What is this? Report on torture and cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment of prisoners at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And guess what? You are in a place. You. You may not be wearing an orange jumpsuit, but you are in a place where there is no law except the law that those tyrants want to enforce upon you. We do not now have a country ruled by law. I hope everybody gets that. All right. Well, I did a mask search. And these are... Um, experiences related by the prisoners at Guantanamo. Uh, surgical type mask on his mouth and a headphone type covering over his ears. After the plane landed, he was dragged to a bus still wearing the goggles mask headphones. Hmm. Soldiers screaming at him in English, don't move, don't talk. Yeah, we're, we're fabulously superior. <laughs> he was having difficulty breathing through the mask and believed he was going to suffocate. He cried out for help. A soldier came and pulled the mask out and let it snap against his face. He began to cry. He had arrived at Guantanamo. Well, we've all now arrived at Guantanamo. The buzzing, the hissing, the clacking, clocking, clicking, knocking. However it is that you hear it, it is very real. And I got a comment from somebody under my recent post on electromagnetic frequencies. Couldn't believe it. People are just either, you know, paid to try to put in the disinformation or really stupid, really ignorant. But then they come at you with this hostility, like, oh, their shit don't stink and they're just fabulous. Well, they're not. But he was talking about, oh, you put 10 people in a room and two people hear something and the eight others don't. You don't have any evidence you know, that this is real. In 1962, it was Alan Frey who actually discovered the use of extremely low average power densities of electromagnetic energy. The perception of sounds was induced in normal and deaf humans. The effect was induced several hundred feet from the antenna the instant the transmitter was turned on. What did they hear? Well, depending on the individual, it was a hissing sound, it was a buzzing sound, it was a knocking sound, it was a chirping sound. Human auditory perception of pulsed radio frequency energy. Um, this study has been replicated over and over and over again with success. The pulsed radio frequency energy. Many now are suffering from tinnitus, human auditory perception of pulses of radio frequency energy is a well-established phenomenon. Why do I feel like I have to respond to these people? It's just exhausting. All right, so what do they hear? Oh, where is it, where is it? Okay, they, it's a clicking sound, a buzz, a hiss, knock, chirp. It's not good. It's not good. Stimulation of the brain with radio frequency electromagnetic field pulses affects sleep-dependent performance improvement. Is it the tinnitus that is keeping you up? Or is it that fabulous Wi-Fi or the cell phone near your bed because you use it as an alarm or the cell tower outside your home or maybe the 5G box or um, 
Could it be the Gwent Tower that's emitting extremely low frequencies? Could it be a satellite? Could it be, you know, I got this email. I've not been feeling well all week. And I am not a very good patient. Boy, I'm really not. Sorry, I don't know where I was. I had to take that phone call up. Um, artificially induced electromagnetic frequencies, regardless of the source. Oh, I was telling you about an email I got. Somebody addressing how I was feeling. And I had said that this week-long thing started with a, a sudden onset of vertigo, nausea, and it certainly definitively told me it was a frequency, whether it was coming from the monitor or a satellite. Oh, and I did forget to include the patent in the video that I posted, the last one. And I'm sorry, I mentioned it in the video and then I completely spaced it. Nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors, computer monitors, TVs. Yes, they can hit you with frequencies right smack through your monitor. It can cause excitation, physiological effects. And yes, they have software programs and they have ways to do it deliberately. Um, you can read the patent, you can find out how they do it, but I'll just, here, um, tell you some of the symptoms that you could experience being hit with frequencies via your monitor, TV, your cell phone, the observed effects, ptosis of the eyelids, relaxation, drowsiness, the feeling of pressure at a centered spot on the lower edge of the brow, huh. seeing moving patterns of dark purple and greenish yellow, with the eyes closed, a tonic smile, a tense feeling in the stomach, sudden loose stool, sexual excitement, depending on the precise frequency used, and the skin area in which the frequency is shot at you. And I've had tense feeling in the stomach. I had it every single night, several times a night, for years. No kidding. All right. Um, so, yes, through the TV, through the computer, through the cell phone. Uh, there's a reason why people uh, who are knowledgeable in the field of these frequencies say that they're weapons. And they are weapons. So is it the tinnitus that is causing people to uh, lose sleep? Or is it the um, radio frequencies that are disturbing your sleep? Sleep-dependent performance. And yes, these, these frequencies could be used for good or evil. And you tell me, what do you think they're using these frequencies for? Radio frequency effects on melatonin. Melatonin, very, very important ingredient for sleep. And they don't have good effects on your melatonin. So what is this? This is a whole lot of studies on the biological and health effects of microwave radio frequency transmissions. A review of the research literature. It's only 85 pages, but go for it. 
because everything is referenced. The end notes, well, the studies, are they end notes or are they throughout? They're throughout. But it's chock full of those studies that we hear they just haven't been able to determine whether or not there are biological effects. <laughs> Guess what? Tens of thousands of studies have proven we're being lied to up the wazoo and lies are really dangerous and they sure do have biological effects. And I also, again, want to point out the Bio Initiative 2012 but it is updated, and Henry Lay's research summaries, check them out. The research summary, 1990 to 2017, and then he's got an awful lot of research summaries. 2020, 20, 2017, 2019, 2020, 2020, 2020. Okay, so what did I do? I just clicked on neurological effects the abstracts from studies. It, studies, okay? What did I get? I had to download and okay. Just from that, these are summaries and just that one area, the neurological. Oh, wow. Well, let's just say I feel bad that you can't see that little uh, side. Oh, yes, you can. See? It's very small. Page 6, 9, 12. Oh, my God. All the summaries on studies. Proving biological effects. Alzheimer's disease in rats. Hmm. Well, it does not look like we will ever get out of uh, this trap that we have fallen into. But here are more studies, an update on neurological effects of non-ionizing electromagnetic fields, Henry Lay. And this is 168 pages. All the studies... See all these dates? They're all studies. How dangerous all of this is. Sleep latency. Uh, it these frequencies also affect our REM sleep, the most important stage of sleep. Rapid eye movement disrupts it. So nobody is waking up feeling rejuvenated and fabulous. But if these frequencies only affected sleep, they'd still be incredibly dangerous because sleep is the healing, the healing part of the day. Nobody's healing. So, yeah, filled with studies. But it is kind of interesting, don't you think? Masks. Hmm. Tool of torture. Makes you wonder. <laughs>